Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to highlight the final free Epic Game Store mystery title, not the free game ever, and uh, two pretty good uh, titles are free next week, but uh, we'll go over that and have some pretty decent deals that I do want to highlight to you guys as well on various games that are on sale over at our good friends at Green Man Gaming. But first of all, let's check out the free game over at Epic Game Store this week, and that is Payday 2. Uh, Payday 2, to be fair, is a game that is available fairly cheap all the time, but it is a good title, especially a game that if you have a, a few friends to play with, it'll be a pretty good time. Um, you know, Payday 3 is in development right now. Uh, I believe it's still a ways away, so it's not like you're going to play that soon, but Payday 2, typically $9.99 on Steam again. It's been super, super cheap before, but uh, given that it is free, given that it does rely on multiplayer to have its best experience possible, the fact that it is free, you know, tell a couple friends, maybe y'all can jump in together and have a good time with that. It's a, it's a game that's been out for a long time, going back to 2013, but I think it's iconic enough where people are just going to be like, hey, Payday 2 for free, let's go check it out. Um, you know, if you weren't one of the many people that have already bought the game, but maybe it could be a case of some of your friends didn't check it out back in the day, and that, you know, gives you the incentive of going back and playing it, and they can get it for free. You guys get the idea. So Payday 2 available free for the next week. And then come next week, you'll get Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition and Guacamelee 2. So both those games will be free next week. And that's great because uh, Guacamelee is a very underrated Metroidvania franchise. I've said it before, but the issue with getting into uh, Metro, well, releasing a Metroidvania game these days, and Guacamelee came out a while ago, but. The thing is, there's so much competition in the Metroidvania market that even if you drop a high-quality title or a relatively good game, um, it's going to be really hard to resonate at a higher level just because, you know, people don't play every single Metroidvania under the sun, and there is so much competition of, you know, damn near top-tier Metroidvanias already on the market, Dead Cells, Hollow Knight, just to name two that people are always going to gravitate towards, so... A game like Guacamelee has fell under the radar, but I thought it had a, a super charming art style, uh, a great gameplay loop, and, you know, overall, a pretty enjoyable game. Definitely more on the comedic side, but uh, had a lot of fun uh, with it. You play as Juan, like a luchador doing suplexes and whatnot. It's a, it's a good time. It's a good time. So the, the fact that those two games are going to be free next week, I think those are definitely titles worthwhile to check out. And to me, uh, that interests me more than Payday 2. But Payday 2, probably the game that, you know, people are going to be... Um, you know, enjoying more in terms of a uh, wider appeal, let's say. And those uh, that does end the mystery game a gimmick that uh, Epic Game Store was running. And kind of a mediocre mystery game lineup, to be perfectly honest. You know, with Death Stranding, that was major. But then you had... Midnight Ghost Hunt, which was a lower key game, and Payday 2, while notable, the value just isn't crazy with that game. But hey, you can't win them all, and uh, who am I to really be complaining about free games, right? Uh, so there you go with that. All right, moving on from that, do want to highlight some good deals over at Green Man Gaming. First of all, Red Dead Redemption 2, 72% off for $17.03. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a fantastic game. The issue with buying it from a third-party retailer, as you guys might know, um, you don't get a Steam key. Now, no matter where you buy Red Dead Redemption 2, you're still going to go through the Rockstar Social Club ultimately. It's very much like Ubisoft and Uplay Connect and whatnot. So, you know, to some people that's going to be a big deal, to other people not as much. But uh, what is a great deal is that Red Dead Redemption 2 is $17.03. That's a couple bucks cheaper than what it goes on sale for over on Steam. So why not save a little bit more if you're okay with playing it on the Rockstar Social Club. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a phenomenal game. I know there's a lot of uh, jokes thrown at Red Dead Online. And yeah, think of Red Dead Online what you will. But Red Dead Redemption 2 from a campaign standpoint is so tremendous. Uh, one of the most compelling main characters I'm really cast of characters when you look at it and remember that this game is a prequel to rdr1 which for some reason um you know rockstar won't remaster and just decide to print money on pc with it but uh i digress it's a tremendous game great main character in arthur morgan uh the rest of the cast dutch obviously marston's in there uh just a great cast of characters visually looks great it can run on the steam deck as well obviously with this being a social club title um You'll have to get the app downloaded and everything like that, but it actually runs, for a game at the caliber of Red Dead Redemption 2, it actually runs fairly decently on the Steam Deck as well. But um, yeah, 1703 for a game that you're easily going to spend 20, uh, you know, easy, 20 hours isn't even going to scratch the surface. You're really going to spend like 40, 50 hours with Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, and that's if you go through the main story. If you want to do everything, we'll pack a lunch because you're going to be busy for a long time. 
Next up, do you want to give a shout out to WWE 2K23, which is 36% off for $38.69. Now, this game just came out back in March, so, you know, it's a yearly, it's an annualized sports title, so these games don't hold up in price for a long time, um, and they do have various editions. The the highest end one, the Icon Edition, 36% off for $77.39, which is just, that, that that's insane, and the MSRP is $120 on that. Uh, I played WWE 2K23. I thought it was pretty good, like, as far as wrestling games go, like, I feel like wrestling games are pretty bad these days uh 2k23 i still don't like like the style of it it's too sim like for me like bro like when i play a wrestling game i'm not trying for something realistic like i want to take fire extinguishers and do crazy things with them but um you know you get the idea uh it's still a fun time if you enjoy wrestling titles you'll probably enjoy it there is a good bit of content in it as well with you have the general manager mode you have a single player campaign which single player campaign is like super goofy um but yeah, whatever. Thirty-eight sixty-nine on that, and then lastly, I do want to give a shout to Doom Eternal as well. Seventy-two percent off for nineteen sixty-four. This is the deluxe edition, I should say, which is very notable, given the fact that this does include the bonus content. So that is huge. And Doom Eternal is a tremendous game. Well, I do recommend people to check out Doom twenty sixteen, just because it's a game that's available for four and uh, four dollars and change, and it's on sale for that price at Green Man Gaming. Um, Doom Eternal, I think, is a tremendous, tremendous game. Great gameplay, fast-paced, visceral as all hell. Um, Multiplayer is, is what it is, but I'm playing these games for the single player campaign, and I think the single player campaign is outstanding. Uh, you get the bonus content as well. Do keep in mind, Doom Eternal is available through Xbox Game Pass, so if you want to play it as a part of a subscription service, that option is going to be available to you, but overall, a fantastic game that I would strongly recommend, and... Um, yeah, definitely go check that out. Hopefully, whatever it is doing next, they announced that here very shortly. Like, it's been, what, three years? Yeah, north of three years since Doom Eternal has come out. And Doom 2016, well, came out in 2016. The window between that and Doom Eternal was about four years. We're already three years removed from the release of Doom Eternal. I would think that it is going to announce something here very shortly, maybe at that Xbox showcase. We will see about that. But that is going to be doing it for me. Again, Payday 2 available free on the Epic Game Store. Go check that out if you're interested. But more importantly, Guacamelee, Guacamelee 2 to me. That's going to be two solid titles to check out next week. Red Dead Redemption 2, WWE 2K23, and Doom Eternal. Links to those deals in the description box below. That'll do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video. To remedy that situation, make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out